While in the eyes of some, China may be more organized and structured than it ever has been, in the eyes of Liu Bei, it feels just as chaotic and even more dangerous, especially now that he has declared himself true emperor of the nation. Two others have now declared themselves as well, and the struggle between the three of them will swallow up what's left of the kingdoms scattered across China, and only one will end up the true ruler of this divine nation. Welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms, everybody. We are in a very interesting situation because I, the kingdom of Shu Han, am now against the kingdom of Wei and the kingdom of Wu. The interesting thing is that the kingdom of Wei is relatively small, but its power is concentrated, where ours is spread horrifically. We need connection and uh, some actual con uh, connected borders, I guess is the word I'm looking for soon, if we are planning on ruling with any sort of organization. So that may come in the, in the uh, trade of selling some of the lands that we no longer need, and ideally uh, picking up some um, uh, elsewhere. I'm thinking these two pieces of land I might end up selling. The good thing about selling these two pieces of land is that I don't want to give them to the Kingdom of Wei, because of course that would make them more powerful. Giving them to the Kingdom of Wu could be interesting, because it could force the two to, to confront one another, or selling it to a third party somewhere either distant or relatively close could cause some confrontations as well, and maybe create a war. Now, I haven't played in a few... a few days now. I want to see where we're at as far as wars. We still have two slots for trading. Um, we are currently at war with the Duchy of Song still, and all, basically all of his allies and a few others. I think we lost a piece of land recently as well, but we're not... we're nowhere near out of this. Um, are we at war with Gong Sun Zan? I think we might be. No, we are not. He is a vassal of the Duchy of Song, and that's where we're at. He has no interest in unifying. Could we get him to declare... Um, no. I was hoping we could get him to declare independence or something, but I guess not. He's poor in money. That's not a big deal. We're not doing great either. We actually should set up a couple more trades if we can. With anybody who will allow us to. Uh, Lu Bu does not wish to become a vassal. The other thing we could do is um, really focus on vassalizing or, or creating some, uh, putting some people under us. Why am I at war with them? I forget why I'm at war with some of these people. He has no interest in having any uh, trade agreement with me. Eh, oh god. That's a little scary. Uh, no, that he desperately does it. He's so against doing anything with me because we're also claims of emperorship that he's looking to potentially kill me. So that's fun. We should expect a war soon, which is why I'm, I'm very, very concerned. I'm very, very, very concerned about him. And I gotta get out of some other wars. Um, we can support the independence of... Who is he a vassal of? Liu uh, Biao, which we're not at war with right now, I don't think. Nope, so I don't want to necessarily support his uh, independence of Liu Biao right now. Man, maybe there's nobody I can trade with. Maybe that's why I have none. I'm just at war at all sides. He's willing to go to peace, uh, to have peace with me. Interesting. And he wants to become our vassal. Huh. He's willing to become our vassal if we go to peace with him. I give him a big, fat stack of cash. I give him one food every turn, which we can easily afford. He also wants this piece of territory. Which, honestly, to pick up the vassalage, I'm okay with. He also wants the Badong Mine and the, the Shangyan Lumber Yard. He wants a lot. So, let's take a look. He wants this city here. He wants... The, this I'm assuming this lumber yard here. No, he wants the lumber yard down here. The oh, this is the iron mine, which again might not be a bad thing. It'll help us a lot. And then he wants this. Yeah, so he wants the lands that are very disjointed. He'll become our vassal in the process. That could be. That could be pretty good. We're gonna be paying him a lot of. We're gonna be paying him every dime we have. 
uh, for the next year. I think I'm gonna accept this because I'm very I'm I'm excited to see what happens. <laughs> I kind of want to see what happens with our money. All right, let's do it. Become our vassal. So now he's our vassal. We're making more money now, which is what I was hoping was gonna happen because he's our vassal. We can liberate him, we can annex him. Which which we will eventually end up doing. Call him to arms. Offer guarantee of autonomy. Pledge to never annex his vassal. Uh, promising not to absorb their lands and wealth. Not, po not something I necessarily want to do. He's kind of pissed at us because of the war atrocities against his friends. Um, but, I mean, he just jumped in, so we're, we're, he's going to be uh, pretty loyal for about five turns, I believe, at bare minimum. He's also, um, let's see, paranoid. Avoids dealing with factions with low respect rating, so that's good. That's not us at all. Sees other, all nearby bigger factions potential strategic threats that have to be kept in check. So may ally against them or declare war. He's, so that's probably why he went to war at us with us. He's a diplomat, prefers peace and treaties over war, which is great. Um, and he's cowardly, so he avoids battles. So I doubt he's going to revolt against us, which is fine. What would happen if we annexed him? We can just declare it. I'm not going to do that right now. I have a feeling that's not valuable to us. Now we're going to be even more powerful. Which is interesting. Would you like peace? You don't really want peace right now. That's fine. We could bring Ling Yi, Li Yao, or our, our newest, our Liu Zhang against Zhang Fu here. It's possible. We can call our, our... to war against him, which we should? He's not very strong. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to bring him into that war. Not right now. It's too early. I think we can handle it without him. Still looking for trades. So, at the end of the day, the war ended up being in our favor. Everything we may have lost to him, we gained back. Alright, let's take a look at some of our armies laying around. Um, especially the ones that are now going to be kind of disparate and all over the place. So this is ours as well. All of this is ours. Good God, man. We need to grab this piece of land and this piece of land, if possible. Our armies are just so spread out. We have one way over here, which we should just merge with another nearby one. Let's, let's just have him go over here. We can have him merge. Just for now. We'll have him move into there. We have another strategist way out here, stuck kind of in the middle of nowhere. We might want to try and sell these off. Uh, that's something I'm going to look into doing. And then you... Where the heck are you? That's our vassal. Maybe we should just... Uh, Kill, uh, get rid of him. We, I mean, we could leave him in here, but he's eh, there's so much there's so much stuff around. We'll go to Badong. We'll send him in. It's gonna suck because we're gonna be trespassing for a little bit, but hopefully they won't piss off the kingdom too too much. You're fine where you're at, and then you are way over here. I guess that's going to be fine. What we should probably do, save up some money and start building uh, building some armies for him. How about everybody else? Because wartime is now, so... I guess I'm going... What was I doing with you? And you, you're heading over here. Right, we're going to try and take this back? Are we at war with Liu Zhang? I think we're trying to finish him off. No, Liu Zhang's our, our vassal. So we're moving... Oh, are we moving into his lands because we thought we were going to be fighting him, but now he's not? Right, because we were going to try and take that back. Right, we lost this to Liu Zhang, and then we vassalized him in the process, so we're absolutely okay. 
That's fantastic, actually. All right. So we're going to move you back home. We're fine leaving these guys here. Just need to be careful. Now, where were you going? Well, right, we're moving in to try and take this out. It might be a Pyrrhic victory, but it's going to be a victory nonetheless, and we can kind of restock there. And then everybody else is fine. You are also kind of re recollecting your army. All right, all right, we're in a, we have a good turn. I think this was a very excellent turn of events. Let's go back to diplomacy screen and see who we want to sell this land off to. The Kingdom of Wei, um, we could send it off to the Duchy of Song. If we want to trade, if we wanted to go to peace with the Duchy of Song, because we're at war with them right now. What if I traded you some land? I'll give you land. I'll give you this and this. Except I can't because they're non-tradable. Shoot. All right. See, my, <laughs> isn't, Oh, we're at war with them again. I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it, right? We're at war with the Duchy of Song? Yep, we are. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Well, it looks like we're about to get attacked. Uh, three generals versus our big boys. This is gonna be a tough fight, and it's not looking like it's gonna be a good one. We have inferior forces comparatively. I just don't, I don't, I guess it's just a bad matchup. Um, they have a lot of shields, so our range is not going to do well. Let's take a look at the map. There's a forest in between them all. All right, let's see how we how we do. This could be bad. So he has guerrilla deployment. I don't know how valuable that would be to us in this moment because he's all ranged, unfortunately. So I mean, if we wanted to sneak up, I guess on the side. Um, after they've marched in and then we could try and like hit them on the on their rear with a bunch of archery fire that they weren't expecting that could be interesting but it might just be better if we just hung out back here i think our best bet is going to be all of his men in our range just sitting real close We can go out to here if we wanted to and just prep for them. But I'm not sure that's how we want to do this. So let's do it like this. Let's just keep it a normal a normal setup and we'll see how this all goes. I'm very nervous. Here we go. Well, we lost that particular battle. We didn't lose our generals and they didn't move anywhere, which is good. And we actually killed one of theirs. It's not that bad, uh, considering how, how bad that ended up feeling like it was going. We, we wiped out a few of theirs, and we might have a chance to pull that back when our turn comes up again. Another, another fight, we're just gonna... I'm gonna delegate this one. We're gonna win this. They, they're coming in to try and finish us off, and it's not gonna work. Oh, see you later. And we'll actually, I think, um... Yeah, that was, that was them. Jesus, that was really bad of them. Because we did so well with our first battle. Uh, let's see. Liu Ji is a warrior, chancellor, who wants to join us. Honestly, I could use you. I just don't know where I would put you. He has nothing of value to steal. He's cruel, wise, and understanding. And that's really good for us. The cruelness, not so much. All right, we'll employ you. I'm also gonna go ahead and recruit uh, for some replenishment. The Kingdom of Wei instigated Liu Bao into a proxy war. Uh, okay. Kingdom of Wu requested that Xi Yi join their war. A rare talent. The war brings chaos and disharmony to China. There is glory to be gained in battle all the same. As warriors clash on the battlefield, the victorious cover themselves in glory. One particular warrior excels a unique talent that will, uh, you would do well to keep close. All right, we got somebody new. We're bankrupt. Oh my God. Why? We're being sieged somewhere? Spy dispatched. All right, hang on. Army upkeep is 10k, salary is 
Are we being sieged somewhere? Yes, we are currently not able to travel to Lubu, Liu Bao, and Kai Mao. Our capitals are being disrupted somewhere. Okay. Well, we're not being sieged here. Or here. So they must be? I think we're gonna move back with this army and regroup. We ended up working out nicely there, but let's not worry about it too much. Where in the hell, man, is this supposed siege happening? Why are you suffering attrition in our own lands? Is it as we're out of money and food? This guy's... These two are very expensive each turn. Uh, I might have to get rid of them. He's so much money. So much money. Let's recall them. Let's recall him too. I can't right now. Oh, that saved me some money. These are the big spenders. I just, oh God, man, what happened? What's, what's going on? Is Lou Boo just getting Lou effed? I could swing in there and see what's going on, but it's not going to be enough. I need I need trade badly. I wish you would just drop your trade route <laughs> with one of them. Oh, is this what's going on? This is what's going on. Okay. I see. They're taking this city. Where are you? I need you to go up here as soon as you can. Uh, ideally, is anybody closer? There's nobody close to this. Our big boy army is just way over here. We gotta go this way and in here to get to them as fast as we humanly can. Uh, where are you? You're pretty far? Oh man, I don't know how I'm gonna do this then. We're suffering attrition. Where are you? You're way out here? <sighs> Shit. Why don't we have him come down here to merge? Or we should grab these guys and have them move. Ah, we're at war with Shi Yi though, aren't we? Let's go have him merge. We'll have them meet. We might just have to renege on our deal with him. I don't know if we can get enough money out of him. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to get enough. Even if I just wanted one time payment for just this turn. I don't think I could, this will make it work. Let's see how much it'll run us if we just ask for a one-time chunk of change of like two grand.
He wants land. What does he want? This one piece of land in the middle? And he'll actually pay me a little bit more every turn? Yeah, alright, we can get rid of this. I'm down to feed him, because we can annex him later. Alright, let's do it. What if we did a little bit less up front and more... A little bit more every turn. Alright, I'm alright with that. It's gonna help us at least for the next turn. I don't know how I'm gonna make this work though. Because we need to get to our being our siege city quickly. And they're gonna try and starve us out as fast as possible. And if I leave this open, there uh, the Duchess Song is just gonna try and snatch it and smack me down. Ah, uh, frustrating, frustrating, frustrating. Let's peep out and see what the fishing port's looking like. Kong Rong we're not at war with. We might be able to make this work. Just give us another turn of, of uh, getting our army back and let's, let's see what happens. Yo, we're getting ambushed. A close defeat. They have a whole lot of range. If we can hit their range early, I don't know how we're going to do this. Whoa. You must reach the extraction point if you are to have any chance of evacuating your forces. You should prioritize the escape of your most vulnerable units and generals. This may mean sacrificing other units to cover their retreat. Once you reach the extraction point, left click with draw button and your forces may make their escape. Okay. I don't think this is going to be... I'm not going to use the cutscenes. I'm not going to cutscene this. I... I just don't know how we're going to... We, we got to get out of here. And the extraction point is right there. What if we just fought them? Let's see what happens. As Zhen Zhang marches her army through the river, a distant voice can be heard shouting, Fire! Footsteps clamor, and suddenly they're beset upon by the enemy. They have a decision to make. Engage or run. But there isn't time, and Zhen Zhang does not falter nor back down. They engage. The army split, one to the east, one to the west. Zhang leads her men up with plans to take on the archers head-on and potentially murder a general if he's lingering around. It's certainly going to be a difficult fight for me here, and likely we're not going to walk away victorious, but we can walk away having at least taken out a good number of their men and making it difficult for them. Arrows fly across the fields as our men march to confront them. We lack range in this army, and we're certainly feeling that weakness here. A duel begins between two sentinels midfield. Who will end up winning? And who will end up losing? Will death be the end of the battle? Or will there be an interruption or a fleeing that'll happen halfway through? Meanwhile, their melee forces rush to center field to try and match some of ours. By battle's end, bodies will be strewn across. As time passes, more of our men litter the battlefield than the enemies, and things aren't looking exactly great for us. Zheng Zheng has to make a decision, and so she decides to focus on the generals herself. If her and her men are going to fail, they're still going to take lives, and important ones, in the meantime. Rushing into the forest, she meets the sentinel head-on. His name matters not. He's not made a name for himself, and her goal is simply to kill him as quickly as she can. He won't accept a duel, so she'll attack him on horseback. And she gets surrounded by his men in turn. Go! 
down he falls. Their men break, some scatter, others just pull back enough for her to escape and move on to the next general in her sights. All the generals have fallen, and another decision is made to escape the battle with those who still live as best they can. And if they can get away, perhaps they'll walk away more victorious than the enemy anticipated them. And no progress will be made for them either. Now that I think about it, I think I forgot to save the other battle. So I'll do this one. <laughs> we actually killed all three of their generals. So they still stand, but we killed two of their generals and the other one, uh, we lost one of ours though. Which is fine. Because it means that we kind of came out on top a little bit. But yeah, they're going to keep moving in. Replace my dead general. With what money is the answer? Or is the question? Um, He won't work. Neither will he. We need somebody who's going to get along with them. So I'm fine with him. Okay. What a bizarre, bizarre, bizarre position we find ourselves in. I mean, we should be moving him out of there. I don't know why we're leaving him there. Back to the fishing port, where hopefully we can start getting some people to be happier now that we have a garrison there. You still have to stay there. You, on the other hand, are in a very bizarre position where you almost have enough to survive, but not quite. We want to get back to our own town, I think. He looks like he's going to move in to try and take this. Which is likely. Our garrison isn't great. Luckily, we have enough of a bank where we can get through this turn. I really kind of want to get rid of him. I just don't know how. I don't know why I can't, rather. Guess we'll just leave him here. The garrison's helping bringing this up at least. We can't even afford to do anything else with our with our upgrades either. We're just in a very bad spot. Um, granted, even if we take some losses, we're not going to be in a, in a losing situation. We're just in a bad one. Well, it looks like we're going to be dealing with uh, this war for a little while longer. We've already been going for about an hour now, so I'm going to have to cut this one here. Liu Bei's got a long way to go if he wants peace, and this is certainly no good position to be in. But it ain't over until it's over.